What's up, sports fans? It's me, Danger Dan, with another episode of Dare Danger Dan. And uh, I'm gonna elbow drop right into this one. Hoo pow! All right, so we got Hannah Sylvester wanted to see E.T. doing a kickflip with his weird little feet. Um, we had Brian Foley wanted to see Stone Cold E.T. Austin playing Atari's E.T., which is a terrible 80s Atari game. If you've never played it, don't, because it sucks. Um, so we're gonna marry those two together. Uh, Alex Rodriguez wanted to see Tom Waits DJing while vaping. Uh, I think I can pull that one off. And then uh, Joey Dubois, my brother. Actually, I got two brother dares here today. Joey wanted to see a double wide chihuahua with a bike seat for a head. And then my brother Scooter Dubois wanted to see, um, he wanted to see a pencil riding a paper airplane. So we're gonna smash those babies together as we do here on this show, which is Dare Danger Dan. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and most of all, most importantly, don't forget to send in your danger dares, because I can't do it without them. That's the whole premise of the show. So thank you everybody for sending in your dares. And sit down, shut up, because Stone Cold said so. So Stone Cold E.T. Austin, very weird and uh, a marriage of characters I wasn't predicting to draw, but. Here we are, and I'm gonna go for it. So my wrestling fandom actually kind of stopped before Stone Cold became a prominent wrestler. But I do recall that he would drink beers and then elbow drop, I think that was his whole premise. But one thing I never understood was like, there was the Austin 316, was that like a Bible reference? And what was it? I don't really know. Anyone out there in TV land wanna chime in and teach me a lesson or two? So did like The Rock and Stone Cold, did they like, were, did they have a rivalry? I know they were both really popular around the same time, but like were they, I can't think of a, a match against them or who won or anything. Was E.T. slimy to the touch? I feel like E.T., yeah, was maybe a little moist. Kind of got a frog texture, probably. Except for once he was exposed to the Earth's atmosphere for too long and he got dried up and gray, grayed out kind of. So some, some people I've run into are like terrified of E.T. And then there's people like me who like, I just love E.T. Like he's my favorite best friend, imaginary best friend from when I was a kid. And I got so excited drawing this like stone cold E.T. Austin. I might've forgotten to keep room for the rest of the dares. All right, so you might not know this, but uh, I've actually been, I have this like project that I'm probably never gonna finish, but I've started it and it's a graphic novel of the sequel to E.T., which was almost made, all right? I've done a bunch of research on it and uh, I guess Spielberg and his co-writer were asked to make a sequel because E.T. was such a smash hit and uh, I think Spielberg didn't want to make it so he tried to scare them away by writing a uh, a script treatment that they would maybe reject. So he basically proposed that Toby Hooper, who directed Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, direct the sequel. And he said, the sequel is gonna be a horror movie. And basically all the kids get kidnapped by evil ETs who kill them and torture them. And uh, ET eventually maybe perhaps comes to save them at the end. Here we go, ET's gross weird little feet. That one's for you, Hannah. All right, so I missed the opportunity to have Stone Cold E.T. chugging beers, but not entirely, because I'm gonna have a bunch of beers over here. We're gonna have some crushed cans. There we go. So I didn't totally miss the opportunity. All right, let's see if I can fit in the uh, double wide chihuahua with a bicycle seat for a head, whatever that's supposed to mean. All right, so we got Stone Cold E.T. Austin. We got, and he's playing Atari's E.T. while doing a kickflip. Thank you, Brian Foley and Hannah Sylvester for those dares. We got the double wide Chihuahua with a bike seat for a head. I believe that uh, it was inspired by Miggy, the Chihuahua that I know from uh, my brother, Joey. And then my other brother, Davey, wanted to see a pencil riding a uh, paper airplane, which since we're at a skate park here on a half pipe, we're gonna go ahead and give that paper airplane some wheels. I hope that's okay. You know what? I don't care if it's okay, because I already did it. And now next up, we're gonna do Tom Waits DJing and vaping. Thanks to Joey Rodriguez for that dare. So we're gonna slide him in here in the background. 
I first became familiar with Tom Waits. Um, I think one of my roommates back in the early 2000s had like a mule variation, so let me borrow it. And I was like, yeah, all right, this is kind of interesting. Because I'm not confident that my uh, likeness of Tom Waits is on point, I'm gonna have to put a little sign here, DJ Tom Waits. All right, so pop quiz. What was the name of the guy in E.T.? Like the main government guy that was like, at the end was like talking to Elliot and being like, I always wanted to, I always wanted to ha find an alien as my best friend. And Elliot, you found one. And now he's dying, but you know, so it goes. That character, they never say his name in the movie. Like there's no point in the movie they say his name. But earlier in the movie, they don't show his face. They show him from the waist down when they're looking for E.T. So he has a flashlight. And he has like maybe some keys jangling from his like belt loop. But that, the, that name of that character, Pop Quiz, what is it? No, nobody? Anybody out there? His name is Keys. Cause he's just got keys dangling from his belt. That's his name is Keys. And uh, well, I always take a list of, when you send in the dares, I take a list and I check it twice. <laughs> and I'm trying to decide which ones they're going to marry well together. But since I've figured out this one, I actually have compiled a new list. And some of you sent these to me while the Halloween season is going on. Um, but what you have to understand is we already filmed the Halloween episode. So <laughs> this is no longer a Halloween episode, but that's okay because I love horror and send in the creepy dares all you want. But Anyway, so let's see here. We got Ghostbusters, Ninja Turtles, Stabby Abbey, uh, Muppets, Avengers. We got more Ghostbusters, more Ninja Turtles. Get a lot of double dares here. I can go with either of these for what's gonna go on over here in this blank space. It's either gonna be a giraffe eating a lion or it's gonna be dogman characters at a Minecraft funeral. Oh wait, who dared that? Gotta give a shout out to Jesse Cotero, thank you for your dare of a giraffe eating a lion. Cause that's going right in here into our skate park dream scenario. Yeah. All right, move over Mufasa. Cause there's a new lion that dies tragically. This one's getting eaten by a giraffe. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in to this episode. And don't forget to set in your dares and don't forget to tune in, like, subscribe. Hey, share it, why not? Cause sharing is caring. And daring is a daring thing to do, to share and care. Anyhow, so we got Stone Cold, E.T. Austin, and that's a combination dare between Hannah Sylvester, wanting to see E.T. doing a kickflip, and Brian Foley wanting to see Stone Cold E.T. Austin playing Atari's E.T. So we got that whole situation going on here. Uh, Joey Rodriguez wanted to see Tom Waits vaping and DJing. And uh, we have Scooter Dubois wanted to see a pencil ride in a paper airplane. And Joey Dubois wanted to see a double wide chihuahua with a bicycle seat for a head. So we got them all in there. And to top it off, we got Jesse Catero wanted to see a giraffe eating a lion. And who doesn't want to see that? That's like an underdog scenario. So thank you very much for tuning in and don't forget to tune in again to Dare Danger Dan. <laughs>